What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today, we're going to go over what parts you're going to need if you're going to want to build your own home PC slash gaming PC or anything in between. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video guys so you don't miss a thing. If you're new to the channel and this video helps you out, make sure to subscribe, turn on them post notifications, smash that like button, it really helps us out. We just broke 10,000 subscribers, so make sure to check back on the channel. We should be doing a giveaway soon. I'm probably going to do a streaming um, fire stick or something like that, so be sure to check back on that. And let's get right into showing you exactly what parts you're going to need if you want to build your own PC. <music> Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you a website called Newegg.com and this website's great. It's got all types of uh, computer parts, other electronics too. It's not just computers. Uh, they got cell phones, batteries, anything you want, electronics, it's here. So just check it out yourself. I'm going to leave a link for the Newegg in the description below. Also check out the affiliate links I got down there. There's going to be some cool tech gear and computer stuff that you want to check out. But once you get on Newegg, um, you can come right here and you can create an account. You don't have to, but I did. Uh, and then you come down here to your name and then go down here to PC Build List. And once you click on this, it's going to load up. I have some lists already saved. Um, but it's just going to pull up all your lists. Now, all these are different PCs, and you can see the prices and everything. Um, now, what you're going to want to do is just click Add New List. Okay. Now that we got a, a new list, I'm going to show you all the parts that you're going to need. And then after that, I'm just going to go through and pick a part for every single one of these and show you exactly how easy it is to customize your own gaming pc slash home office pc and to do that we're going to start off with the cpu so there's three main things that are going to be like the bulk of what you want to spend your money on when you're buying a computer and that's going to be the cpu memory and gpu or video cards but we'll get to them um, first we're just going to do the cpu and basically this is the brain of the computer now, one big thing you're going to have to make up your mind and figure out before you do this is if you're going to go Intel or AMD. Now, if you go AMD, that's going to be your Ryzen CPUs. If you go Intel, that's going to be the Intel Core i5, i7, i9. Um, that's how they name it. Uh, the Ryzen's are similar. You're going to be the Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9. And then you're going to see numbers after that, like the 9900K or the 2600X. Just do your research. Pick out whichever one you're going to want. The main thing with these guys, you're going to have to make sure that your motherboard is going to be compatible. You're going to have to make sure the socket's going to fit on the motherboard. So let's just go through and pick a processor real quick. Now, if you're gaming, I recommend doing at least an i7 or i9 or a Ryzen 9 or 7. Um... But you don't necessarily need that. You can do a i5, like this one right here, i5 9600K. It's not bad. But for this video, let's just go ahead and let's do Intel. So we're going to do the i7 9700. And this is $363. So all you got to do is just click Select. And there you go. You got your first part picked out. You can see your total up here. Right now, we're at 363 and then you're also going to see your minimum wattage up here, and this is going to help you picking your power supply. All right, moving on, we're going to go to our motherboard. Now, there are a couple different sizes of motherboards, and you're also going to have to make sure when you're picking a motherboard, you're going to have to take in a couple of things into account. You're going to have to take the form factor, the max memory or RAM that you're going to be able to put in it. You're going to have to see if it's... Uh, the socket is for Intel or AMD CPUs. So right here you can see form factor. They got ATX, micro ATX, mini ATX, and then you got um, a extra large ATX. So what I like to do is just stick with the standard size, which is the standard ATX. 
you can see right here it says socket slash CPU. This is how you're going to know if your CPU is going to be able to fit on here. And I see one right here for $189, 128 gigabytes of memory max. And this is going to work with our Intel i7, so let's go ahead and pick that. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the memory. A lot of people also call this RAM. So with RAM, another thing you're just also going to have to make sure if it's DDR4, make sure your motherboard takes DDR4. Also, you're going to have to pay attention to the gigabytes. So if it's 32 gigabytes of RAM, you're going to get two sticks, 16 gigabytes each. And that's what I recommend getting because you can get 32 gigs of RAM for not that expensive. Right here, 112 bucks. 32 gigs of RAM, that's a lot of RAM. And this is DDR4 too. So that's great. These are 112 bucks. The G Skill Rip Jaws V series. And I think these are the ones I'm going to go for because honestly, for 32 gigs, that's a really good price. So let's just pick that. Okay, so here we are to the GPU. This is also called the video card or a graphics card, a lot of people call it. But this is going to be one of the main things that you're going to want to pay attention to also. You could go with a Radon or an NVIDIA. It really doesn't matter, but I want to pick something that's decent but not going to be too much overkill because we're not rocking like a, a Threadripper or an i9 or something like that. We got the i7. It's still a really good processor, but I mean, we don't need the best of the best to work with this, right? Now, with these guys, you're going to want to do your research because the names are pretty confusing, but once you get it down, you'll be able to tell what's going on. Somewhat similar between Radon and NVIDIA. Let's just go with this first one here. 2060 RTX, 6 gigabytes of memory. That's pretty good. For 370, we're going to go ahead and pick that. And now that we got our main setup, we're going to go ahead and get our case, our power supply, storage, cooler, operating system, and accessories, which are your peripherals like your mouse and keyboard and monitor and all that. So case, we're going to go, I'm going to just pick one real quick. Like I said, the main thing you want to make sure with the case is that your motherboard's going to fit in there and also all your cooling system and everything's going to fit. You can always put a smaller motherboard in a bigger case. You can never put a bigger motherboard in a smaller case. So if you're not sure what size case you want or what's going to work, get the next size up. So if you're thinking of getting a mid tower but you're not positive that your motherboard's going to fit, just go ahead with the ATX uh, regular towers or standard tower. But we're going to pick one here. I like the way this looks. And it's really cheap. $89 full tower. So we're going to go ahead and click this one. Next we're going to move on to our power supply. Now with the power supply there's one thing that you guys have to make sure. Is that it is 80 plus gold certified at least. So you don't want to get anything lower than gold. It being certified 80 plus gold just means that it's tested it's proved that it's going to work you got to make sure that you're going to have enough wattage to cover the rest of your parts you don't want to give it overkill like you don't want to do a 1200 watt cooling unit i mean it's really pointless for just doing a regular build um, another thing you got to pay attention to also is if it's fully modular or non-modular and we're going to do this one here 119 dollars 550 watts 80 plus gold certified fully modular we're good 120 bucks it's looking good okay moving on to storage guys we're gonna have to make a couple decisions here now what i suggest everyone if you're gonna be gaming i really suggest getting at least a 500 gigabyte m.2 ssd and if you want, you can still get a hard drive with that and save all your other stuff on your hard drive. But your computer just runs a lot faster and smoother, especially with gaming if you got a M.2 SSD. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you what that is in here. And Samsung's got some great ones called the Samsung Evos. 
And you can see here, form factor is M.2. And you're also going to want to look at the interface, if it's PCI Express or SATA 3. And this is a great deal too right here, 119 bucks for a terabyte. So let's go ahead and grab that Intel 660p series. It's a M.2 PCI Express 3.0. It's got a 5 egg rating here, so that's great. We're going to select it. And we're also going to come down and add additional storage. So we're going to get a hard drive on top of that. And a hard drive is great because they're so cheap now. You can get, look at this, 4 terabytes for 93 bucks. So I'm going to put that in the cart too. This is Seagate hard drive, 4 terabytes. So now we got 5 terabytes of memory for just over 200 bucks. It's not bad. You can also, you can get as much memory as you want, guys. You can throw two M.2 SSDs in there. Do whatever you want to do. It's your build. It's how you want to make it. So just remember that when you're going through this too. Don't always listen to other people. Do what you want to do, what you feel is going to be the better computer for you and what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, I'm sure you can shoot in the comments below. A lot of people that read them answer other people's comments or I get back to you also. Got a lot of people in the, in the community and stuff that will help you out with this. Now coming down to the CPU cooler, um, there's two different types you can pick from. You can pick water or heat sink, which is like a fan. Uh, this one, we're just going to do a regular fan. I don't want to go into any of the water cooling stuff. Now, this is geared a little more towards beginners and stuff. So, if you know what you're doing with the water cooling unit, go ahead. Do you. I mean, don't get me wrong. The cooling units work awesome, and they do have um, a big difference. I mean, they really do cool down the components a lot faster and more reliable but you're not gonna mess your your computer up if you get a fan so let's just see this one here it's gonna be 45 bucks cooler master let's just throw that in the cart and um like i said guys i'm just throwing these parts on here if i was actually doing this one to buy myself i would definitely do a lot more research on each part so say I'd go through and pick my build like I'm doing now, and then I'd just go through each part and research them a little bit, see if that's going to be compatible with the other stuff I got, and see if it's something that's going to work well for me. And you guys should do the same. Uh, always look up the parts that you're going to get. Another thing that a lot of people forget about is operating system. Now, you're going to have to get a copy of Windows and download it onto your PC, so... 110 bucks Windows Home. Um, you can go for the Windows Pro if you want also for 150 But you don't need it. Let's just get this Windows Home 110 and throw it in the cart. Now, last but not least, I'm not going to go into this and pick a monitor and a keyboard and all that. But you can if you want. So basically for our tower, we got $1,614. Um, minimum watt adjustment, 400 watts. We got 10 parts. And that's all you need, guys. Ten parts, and you're good to go. So real quick, I'm going to run down what they are again. So your CPU, your motherboard, your memory or RAM, your video cards, also known as your GPU or your graphics cards. Then you got your case and power supply. Then you got storage, which is going to be a hard drive SSD or SATA SSD, anything like that. Next, we got our CPU cooler, which is going to be a heat sink fan or water cooling unit. And we got our operating system, which is just a downloadable version. And you just download it once you get your computer, you set it up, and you download Windows. So that's all you need, guys. Comment down below if you need any help with anything. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, I get back to my comments pretty often. Also, like I said... Other people might end up answering your question before I get to it, so thanks ahead of time if you guys do that. Make sure to check back on the channel for the giveaway coming soon for our 10,000 subscriber mark. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you.